hello everyone today we are going to work on how to skip a cutscene so when I step on this white box uh, it will trigger a cutscene video like this and here you can see in the top right corner you see a skip button when you hold space like this it fills up and skip the video so let me show you again if I release the space button in the middle the slider resets if you want to skip you need to hold it all the way until it fails so yeah this is what we are going to work on today how to skip a cutscene and before we get started as always I'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done in my channel to the date there are over 1700 videos and for each video the project file is accessible once you become a member in the patreon page without a limit so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in the description below and let's get back to today's tutorial so for this project i'm going to use the same project that i used on this video so here in this video we worked on how to play a cutscene when we reach a certain trigger point within the level so this is the trigger point that I have once I go over there this video starts playing and once it's over we are back in the regular game mode so now what I want to do is implement in a way to skip that video so here we have that uh, widget that we implemented to play the video so here I'll add a slider you can use one of these radial sliders and start angle 0 end angle 360 let's make it a bit smaller and anchor it over here no like this now what i'm want, going to do is when i keep space pressed i want to fill up this slider and once the slider is filled I want to skip the cutscene that's basically what I'm trying to do so maybe let's make this bar color a little transparent and as it get filled we can clearly see right now maybe we should add a text also right here space to skip oh sorry space to skip oh that's too long i'll just use this skip text and then you should see this bar fills up when we hold space so how do we get an input here for that here when we start playing the cutscene i'll enable input on this actor and get player controller then here i'll so i want to bind this to space key either i can do that or i can bind it to uh, the jump maybe I'll bind it to space button because that is not something usually I want to change keyboard event now here instead of uh, let's not think about fill in the progress bar and let's just focus on how to close this media player so for that here let's say let's first make sure that this widget is in viewport just in case I press this twice or something I wouldn't run into any problems so if this widget is in viewport that means 
we are already playing a video i get this media player and close and before that i'll remove from parent okay now let's see what happens see oh when i press space the character jumps and also video stops but after character falls down the video restarts because we are again overlapping with this subject so i think first we need to disable inputs for the player when while we play the video so get player character. no get player character. and let's do disable input and then once we close the media player let's enable it get player character enable input get player controller and also once we finish the video we need to re-enable controls too because earlier we were not disabling the inputs right now let's test okay it works as intended go here again it stops the video now let's see how to do this progress bar thing so for that mm -hmm. yeah let me break this and first i need to set up a custom event to set the slider value i'll call this radial slider and this should not be interactable by the way but we are not enabling the mouse anyway so let's forget about that later here update uh, let's add a custom event update slider value and get the radial slider select value pass the value now in here i'll add a timeline and when we press the space player from the start here let's add a float track i'll call it time length so maybe only one second let's add a key here zero zero and another key here at time one value one now before this timeline thing because still we need to make sure that we do have the video running cut scene update slider value give this time value And once we finish this, we can and if we release, we need to stop. Okay, let's see. See. Okay, so what I did is if I stop pressing the space. The slider stops basically but here yeah. yeah it works but when I release when I release it should go back to zero yeah it should go back to zero so that means here yeah. why is this duplicate not working need to stop and also set a sequence here we need to set the slider value to zero pressing space stop pressing space stop if i hold it all the way it will skip so yeah let's see some object one other thing is i won't i don't want it to be interactable 
So what if I trim all this? Oh, I can still change the value with the mouse. That's what I was testing. So maybe we don't need to show this handle. If I make it enabled false. It's still good enough all right so that's all i wanted to do for today and thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye